Welcome back to yet another vlog on the channel. I woke up at 6 a.m. It's currently 8.30. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to have my morning coffee right when I wake up. I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to be hydrated. I'm going to have my caffeine intake later, right? I'm, I am so tired right now. And I think it's because I didn't have coffee first thing in the morning. So... I'm never doing that again. I've been up early editing my desk tour video. I am going to try the twice a week uploads this week. Um, so today I'm posting my desk tour video. I'm posting this vlog on Friday. So I'm like, I'm kind of feeling creative. I want to film more. And I want to test out the twice a week uploads and like my uploading schedule. So that's very exciting. I'm about 80% done with my video, so I still have more editing I need to do, but I need to make coffee, and I wanted to start today's vlog here in the kitchen. You guys are also currently in the cabinet. Oh my gosh, we have little ducks in the pond right now. Look how cute. I just wanted to hop on, say good morning. I'm gonna finish editing my video, and I'm gonna get ready for my day. I'll come back to you guys. because I felt like it but I honestly don't really need to be on camera besides vlogging today and you know it's very casual for the vlog so I just have like a little sports bra and a zip up and black pants pajama pants because we're just keeping it comfy today and then I threw my hair up in a little clip because I don't want to do my hair but um okay I wanted to take you guys along on how I film my mini vlogs aesthetically pleasing TikToks, reels, that kind of stuff. Like the creativity behind these little like vlog videos is just endless. So I'm just gonna show you how I do my filming process and editing process because I know a lot of people have different equipment and apps and stuff. So I'll just show you my way. It's a shameless plug, follow me on Instagram reels and follow me on TikTok because I post a lot of like these little mini vlogs, a little aesthetically pleasing vlogs. I like to think they're aesthetically pleasing, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I need to film a little TikTok of my desk. I just posted my desk tour video, so I want to do a little promo on TikTok. To film these little videos, I just use my iPhone. This is the 12 Pro Max. Honestly, it is all about the camera settings. You can go in your settings and change the quality of your iPhone. So my settings right now are 4K resolution in 60 frames per second. I just feel like the shots are so smooth. It gives me the most crisp quality for an iPhone. And it's literally unreal in certain lighting. So 4K resolution, 60 frames per second. You can bounce back and forth between like 30 or 60. Um, and you can do like 1080 uh, resolution if you want, but for me, 4K baby. And I know a lot of people do like a filter on top of their videos, like they make them like very dark or like low exposure. I don't really do that, but what you would do for the low exposure is you just tap on the phone where you want to focus and then there's gonna be like a little sun, little picture right there and you just like slide down and that's how you get the low exposure shots. But I don't typically do that. I just know that a lot of people ask questions on how to do that, so there's your answer. I also use a little tripod. I got this on Amazon for like 30 bucks. I honestly would get a better quality one, especially if you do YouTube videos and you do um, these little mini vlogs and stuff like all the time. Um, this one kind of breaks on me, like the top piece. I'm just gonna like screw this on, but there's times where this just like completely falls apart. So that's a good recommendation. Find like a really good tripod. This is definitely one of the cheaper ones. And then the key is with any tripod, I feel like nowadays that you order, it comes with this little attachment. 
This is a iPhone attachment, so you literally stretch this and your phone goes on it. So let me just do this really quick. It holds up your phone like this and you just screw it on your tripod and that's how you get like the vertical videos. I also have like a handheld like mini tripod that I just screw this little attachment on and I'm good to go on that. I also just recently bought this ring light tripod on Amazon. I needed to find like a good ring light um, that was smaller. I have a bigger one. It's just so hard to like lug around and stuff. So um, I decided I'm getting a smaller one. It came with this little attachment as well um, with the little iPhone holder and you can literally bend it. This is fun if you want to do like beauty videos or you just need more lighting in your videos. I actually have pretty good lighting as of right now. I'm actually feeling pretty early but this has different like lighting modes and then you can adjust the brightness. So I absolutely love this. I'll link this down below as well even though I'm not using it but I'm gonna go ahead and start filming. So again, I just opened up literally just my camera app on video. It's 4K video, 60 frames per second. And sometimes I'll use the tripod or I'll just freehand it. I like to stay in one spot. And then sometimes I'll either zoom in on my camera or I'll move and get closer. And then in editing, what I'll do is I'll splice it up really fast. The cool thing about these videos is they're so fun to make. Like, they're just so time consuming. Like, you could get as creative or as sloppy as you want with these videos. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so I switched the angle here. I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to switch it up and put the laptop on here. Okay, cute. Kind of like the shot and I can just do like a quick pan. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, that was really smooth. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to do the headphones. Boom. Little pan. Okay, so now the next scene I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the desk raising so I'm gonna make it go like max height but in editing I'm gonna speed it up and now it's raising and then in editing I'm gonna speed it up really quick I just the cables are so annoying I could also reverse the clip and make it go down too depends on how I'm feeling I think that's good enough. I show more details in like the actual video. This is gonna be like the little promo, so I don't wanna like share everything, just like the highlights of it. So that is like how I film my little TikToks. Okay, you guys, so I am airdropping the footage from my phone to my computer. I like to just store the raw footage on my little lacy hard drive. Um, and then delete the footage off of my phone because with 4k video it's going to take up so much space and even if you don't use 4k video just having a ton of like videos really racks up your storage so I just immediately delete them off my phone as soon as they're airdropped into my um, computer. So I'm just going to import this. The editing software that I use um, is Final Cut Pro and that's like a $300 software so don't think that you have to like pay that much to edit videos. You could use iMovie on your phone. I know CapCut is another app that TikTokers use. There's so many like free editing apps. For me, I just use Final Cut because that's what I use to edit my YouTube videos and I know how to use the software really well so it's just easier on my end to just put it on my computer and edit it all. And the first thing I immediately do is mute all the clips because I don't need any sound for these clips. Now if it was like an ASMR kind of video then I would leave the sound on or just turn down the volume but this is going to be completely off. And all I'm really going to do is just kind of splice up the little clips that I like. I only have four minutes of footage and I'm looking to cut it down to hopefully at least 15 seconds. I kind of want to stay in that 7 to 15 second range because it's not going to be a full video. This is a promotional for YouTube videos. Typically these little mini vlogs like to be very very quick so having a little like 0 0.05 seconds or point two five seconds of a clip is actually like pretty normal so I'm just gonna go through and like trim everything and then um, we'll go on to the next step. Going 
got the video down to about 12 seconds. Now I'm just gonna rearrange things around. I'm gonna go ahead and move that around and then I'll show you guys the final product. Okay, so I actually managed to shave more footage down. So I'm down to about 10 seconds of footage. And one thing I totally forgot to mention before I got started, if you're gonna be doing any editing on your computer or any kind of editing software, make sure that your dimensions on your video is 1080 by 1920 because it's gonna give you the vertical video instead of the normal like video size and you would have to like crop the video, which will lose a lot of the quality. So I'm gonna export this. This. Also, I did a little 2022 vision board. Super cute. Um, okay, so this is exported. I'm going to airdrop it to myself. Okay, so I have the video right here. It looks so crispy and good. So to find the audio, because I exported it while muted, I got to find audio on TikTok or Reels. So because I'm posting this on TikTok, I'm just going to go on TikTok and um, look through like trending audios on my For You page or any that I've saved. But sometimes I'll have a specific audio I want to use, which I'll just like screen record the audio or save it depending on what platform it is. And then I'll put the audio clip in the editing. I kind of like that audio. Let's see if that works. So I'll just use the audio and see what that sounds like. It's actually really good. Okay, I really like that because the key is like having audio that's long enough to last the entire video. So that's something also to think about. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the little text um, throughout the video and then I'll be done. I'll do the hashtags and then post it. I wrote out my caption. Again, this is gonna be a preview to my YouTube video. I want all of my viewers to go to the YouTube video to check it out. So um, I'm gonna test this out. So I put a little text right here and then halfway through the video, I put a little text that says in-depth tour on YouTube just so the people know. And then I also added on my description as well, as well as some relevant hashtags. This is gonna be the cover, super nice. So now that I have all of that in, I just post. But yeah, I'm just starting to add on TikTok. I'm not getting like a lot of views and engagement right now because I am just trying to catch myself back up on posting content because I've been a ghost for like months. So I'm trying to like, regain my views and followers and stuff again but it's gonna be a while which is totally fine it's such a fun process however it's so time consuming because you can like get caught up in like the littlest details from filming to like the caption hashtag that kind of stuff but overall just having fun with it um especially like on my actual tiktok page i feel like i'm just like posting random things and just like I'm trying to get back in the groove of things because I have literally been a ghost on TikTok for months. So I'm trying to regain my trust with the algorithm again. So yeah, I am done with that. I'm not going to post it on my Instagram reels. However, I did make an Instagram post um, in my feed saying that I had a new video and it's my desk. So literally everyone that follows me on social media know that I posted a desk tour video. So that's all good. Um, I am going to make some coffee and probably go for a walk soon so i'll catch you guys up in the few minutes that takes me to go downstairs <laughs> Throwback to like seven hours ago when I was like in the same angle and I was like i'm dragging i'm so tired here we are with another coffee cheers it's a vanilla cold brew with vanilla cold foam okay so I still have a little bit more editing I need to do with other like TikToks right now. Give myself a little bit of a break. I'm gonna go out for a walk because it is like really sunny out and it's supposed to be clear all week. And anytime it's not raining, I wanna go for a walk because I miss going outside and walking and stuff. And then I'm gonna continue editing and then I don't know what else I'm gonna be doing. I think I'm just gonna do more computer work or just like lounge around because I don't have like too much I gotta do today. I might wanna get these removed because it's been like over two weeks since I've had them and instead of finding the nail and gluing it back on, um, like I have been doing, I think I'm just gonna take them all off and like give my nails a breathing break and then might do like nail polish sometime this week. Or get more of these press on nails. I love the Olive and June press on nails and the glue. I absolutely love them. They actually have been on my nails for like two weeks. Granted, like maybe two or three nails fell, but 
That's not bad at all. Like I literally cleaned the bathrooms and did the dishes every night with these nails on. And typically with like normal nail polish, they'll just like chip if you like deal with like a lot of water and bleach and stuff. But these are good. More froth and then I'm gonna go ahead, get dressed and go on this walk. sleepy tea with me i'm gonna finish this up watch some youtube and then head off to bed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next vlog really soon bye